YouTube, it's all about the O21, and today we'll be unboxing the 2013 CYMA M14. Let's get to it. Before I get to the unboxing, I'm just going to let you guys know I have a uh, review on this gun, and I'm shortly going to be doing a test once this uh, weather clears up. There's about four inches of snow outside, so obviously I might be able to do that. So uh, let's get to it. Now, first, we have the box art, as I like to call it. It has the uh, CM032. Has a bunch of specifications and different warnings and such. Has a picture of the gun, which is actually pretty nice. Then you have other specifications and different things. And uh, down here you have other specifications, um, just different things. So, and then the back of the box is just styrofoam. So it's pretty simple, plain, but it's the job. Now on the opposite side of the gun, you have different propaganda uh, artwork showing the different CYMA guns. Pretty much AK-47s and MP5s. I have to say, though, some of their guns, um, well, most of their guns are very, very high quality, and uh, I would recommend buying them. Okay, let's get into it. There's the top cover. Then you have the manual, which is, has features the SOCOM version and the full version. Um, this manual actually uh, has a lot of uh, Chinese English, but I have to say it's pretty clear on what you have to do, different directions, pretty simple stuff. Now you have uh, Aerosol Megastore Propaganda, again, just like in the um, JG uh, um, Works M16A1. It's uh, Golden Ball BBs, they want you to buy them. I have to say though, these BBs are very good. And uh, this is what it'll look like when you get your 2013 M14. That's pretty much what it looks like. Alright, now first you get an OD um, sling. Uh, it has actually metal sling mounts, but uh, I wouldn't say using this, just get a, like a better high quality like NC Star Diamond Tactical Sling. Um, but this hasn't failed, man, I've been using it. It's pretty good. Alright, now to the metal 400 round high capacity magazine. By high capacity, it means you fill in the BBs up top. This is kind of hard. So put them in there, flip up the door, push down the door, and then just has the wheel right there. Very nice magazine, all metal. All right, now onto the trickle charger, which again, I do not recommend using these. It will overcharge your battery. Um, this, actually, this one actually doesn't look half bad, but just get a smart charger. It charges your batteries faster, and it won't overcharge your batteries. Then you have little other accessories for your clean and jammy rod. You have a little cloth um, holder, and you have um, a little key and Allen wrench for your high capacity magazine so you could wind it uh, faster and easier. Then you have... Uh, some sample BBs, don't use these. And uh, these ones don't look half bad, but again, just don't use them if you don't want to take a risk. Just use Golden Balls or Elite Force, that ones that won't jam your gun or mess it up. And then finally, for the accessories, you have this little air seal thing. It says don't eat, so don't eat it. And now finally, before getting onto the gun, you have the cleaning and a jammy rod, which is very, very nice if your gun jams or you need to clean it, you just put that right there, put the cloth through and just put it down your barrel. It's uh, very nice if you want to have a high quality gun and if you want it to uh, last, you got to use this. So uh, that's about it. And finally, let's get on to the gun. All right, now finally we have the gun. This gun is uh, packaged pretty well. It has little um, twisty tie things, which I think are pretty cool because they hold the gun in place. All right, this is the gun. It has a um, fake wood, which actually looks very, very cool. It looks very, very real. It's uh, made of ABS plastic. You have a metal butt pad on the back that flips up for um, extra, so you can put, put it on your shoulder. And it also houses a battery. Then you have the front sight. You have the bolt. You have the bolt right there. Then you have the bolt catch right there. If you want to zoom up on that, you have the bolt catch right there. Then on the over here, you have the uh, fire selector switch. Um, I'm pretty sure this one's actually on semi and then if you turn around to the fatter side you have full auto. Um, then going on you have the heat shield which is ABS plastic which uh, lightens the gun up because if it was full metal it would probably uh, be a lot heavier. And it's actually pretty heavy, it's pretty hefty but it's not that bad. Um, I'm not going to complain but it uh, gives it a nice realistic feel. Then you have a sling mount right here and a sling mount on the back. And uh, you have a full metal barrel and barrel assembly with a full metal flash hider and front sight with a um, orange tip. And uh, overall, guys, I think this gun is very, very nice. Um, 
look at my review, like I said, for the gun. I'll get over everything, over the FPS and everything. So um, I recommend buying this. It has a nice balanced feel. I'll put it in the magazine to show you. Unlike most guns, unlike M4s, you have to put this in like an AK-47 like AK or 74 magazine. You have to put it forward in, and then you have to push it back. It has a nice feel. has a nice look, as you can see. Um, has a nice look. The sights are very nice. I've been shooting this outside. Um, very accurate. But uh, the second thing I have to say is uh, the FPS isn't that great. Um, it's okay. But if you want to, if you actually want a sniper rifle, just go for a bolt action. But if you want a nice, authentic-looking Vietnam-style gun, I would, I would suggest go with this or the M16. Um, but overall, yeah, CYMA did a very good job on this gun. The wood looks fantastic, and the metal is um, pretty awesome. My friend said, take out the weights on it, and I said, there's no weights. It's all metal. So um, that just shows you right there. This gun is nice quality and has awesome performance. So uh, if you're going to go check this uh, gun out, go to airsoftmegastore.com or um, any website like eVike, AirSplat, Airsoft Station, any one of those sites. So um, comment, like, and subscribe. Um, go look at my other videos on my channel. I have a ton of other videos on Airsoft and Airsoft gear. So um, yeah, thanks for watching.